So the most important piece of the puzzle for an all digital video game collection are micro SD cards and being both a video producer and a gamer, I've used plenty of these little guys over the years. So let's chat about some of my favorite. What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and today we're gonna be talking about the best micro SD cards for your Nintendo Switch and new Nintendo 2DS XL or 3DS XL. I know, I know, it's not really the most interesting topic I've talked about, but these little memory cards are essential pieces to the puzzle. Whether you're looking to have an all digital video game collection or you just wanna expand upon your built-in storage. With more and more games going digital only, micro SD cards have pretty much become a required add-on, especially for the Switch, which only has 32 Two gigs of built-in storage that's really not going to get you far if you want to download games it's a, you know it's kind of a struggle but we work with what we got so when I first got my Switch, I actually started out with the standard Sandus Ultra 32 gig micro SD card. I thought that would be more than enough at the time, and it served me well for what I used it for until I realized I wanted to be as minimal as possible. I wanted to save space, I wanted to go all digital, and 32 gigs just really didn't cut it. Luckily, the new 2DS XL supports micro SD cards up to 32 gigs, so the swap was perfect. I've been using that card ever since with that console, and I haven't had any issue. If you're looking for a fast card that's incredibly cheap this is probably under 20 bucks now i highly recommend the sandus ultra 32 gig card it is really great i've become so spoiled by having the ability to switch games within seconds and it's just one of those marquee features of being all digital no matter what console you're on i think it's just like a total game changer like no pun intended as far as the Switch goes, I learned really, really quick that you're going to need a whole lot more than a 32 gig card. It's just not enough. So following that, I actually jumped to the Samsung 128 gig Evo Plus, which is an incredibly fast and reliable card that is awesome for the Switch. I've had it for about a year and a half now, and I haven't had any issues with it. The best part is, is that I've seen these 128 gig cards now on sale on B&H Photo and Amazon for only about $30. Like that is unbelievable unbelievably cheap for so much space and if I could only recommend one card like judging by like the speed and the price per gigabyte it would totally be the Evo Plus because for that price you just cannot beat it. As you probably have guessed though having an all digital video game collection it's gonna make you run out of space real quick no matter what card you have and as good as the Samsung Evo Plus is I just needed more space personally. So last week I actually had to upgrade to the new SanDisk Extreme 400 gig card which almost quadrupled my switch's storage and i mean at this point i think it should easily last its entire life i mean this is a lot of space read and write speeds are very high on both the sandisk extreme and the samsung evo plus so transferring nearly 128 gigs of data really didn't take that long at all this is probably going to be the last memory card upgrade i ever do for the switch so buy once buy right that's my advice for this and i'm a happy camper this is a lot of space there's a lot of headroom now now and I really like don't have to worry about when I download a game. The one thing that I did notice, however, switching between so many different cards is that whether I used an expensive high-speed pro card or cheap slower card, there was no difference in gameplay, load time, or overall performance. If there was, it was very, very minimal. As long as you meet the 60 to 95 megabytes per second read time that Nintendo recommends, you're good to go. At that point, it all comes down to how much memory you actually need and how much you want to spend. It's as simple as that. Write time really doesn't matter because that's only when you're first like transferring the games from the old SD card but read times is the most important thing as long as you meet that minimum requirement just go for how much memory you could possibly need Alrighty, guys that's about it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel and until the next video I will catch you guys later peace Cause I